Tree tapping and maple sugaring is a process that relies entirely on the weather, something of course no one can control. And this year the weather was not in the students' favor at Keystone College. Newswatch 16's Allie Gallo joins us now with more on the end of tree tapping season. Good morning, Allie. Good morning, Mindy and John. So environmental students at Keystone College call it bark to bottle. It's when they tap the tree, boil the, the sap, and then bottle that pure maple syrup. And this year there wasn't a whole lot of that process. This is maple sugaring here at Keystone College. The sugar shack on the college's Woodlands campus and the tree tapping program here is one of only three like it in Pennsylvania, and it is almost entirely student run. Newswatch 16 has been here for the start of tree tapping season in the past, usually around the end of February. This year, we're here for the end of it. Students at Keystone showed us how to untap the more than 200 maple and ash trees here on the Woodlands campus. For maple sugaring, you need cold nights and warm days, which students say, other than a three-day stretch about two weeks ago, they didn't really have much of this year. They say with so many warm nights we've had recently, the sap is no longer flowing, which means the end of the season for this year. Students say they are finishing up the season with about 50 gallons of syrup, but they usually get around 65 gallons. The director of the Woodlands campus, Kelly Stewart, says shorter seasons and less sap is likely something they should get used to. We have this basic idea of when we'll begin to tap and when the season will end, but really we don't know. So probably the way the weather trends are going, um, we're looking at tapping probably earlier in the season, probably earlier in January, um, and expecting maybe a shorter season, unfortunately. Keystone College is actually on spring break this week, so students say even though they are sad to see the season end, it isn't the worst timing, and those 50 gallons of syrup are now being bottled, and John and Mindy students will bring those bottles to tabling events and really anywhere they go over the next year to show off their tree tapping program. We glad, we're glad they put in the work. Yes, yeah, it's very impressive. It. Thanks, Allie.